What's up guys, Mike Vo here, your modern Asian dad. Today we're going to review a couple of MagSafe accessories sent over by Test Lunch. Use this discount code below to save 10% on all your orders. This mount right here you put behind your screen and is compatible with all iPhones 12 or newer. It also comes with a couple of accessories just in case you need this, uh, this metal ring to put behind your case because your case is not MagSafe compatible or you can use a different phone if you want. So it's pretty easy to install and I will install it soon. This next one is a MagSafe mount that goes behind your steering wheel. Uh, it's pretty cool because this one is a charger also. You have to plug it into your USB port on your car. So as you can see, basically you can only hold your phone in horizontal view. You cannot put it on portrait mode. The charger is USB-C and it is attached to the charger. You cannot detach this wire. The installation is pretty easy. You just peel off the 3M sticky tape and put it on the back of your steering wheel at this section right here. Do not put it above because the angle will not be correct once your steering wheel comes down into your driving position. The USB-C cable is long enough to plug into the USB port in the back where the vents are in the back seat. Okay, So make sure you plug it in. Installing this one is also really simple. You also peel off the 3M sticky tape and then you just stick it in the back of your screen. It's foldable so you can just tuck it away easily. The button in the back allows you to rotate your, your phone. It's pretty cool because you could put it in portrait mode or landscape mode. I have a swivel screen on my Tesla but I will test it as if you bought your car stock without the swivel screen because that's a aftermarket part. So as you can see I'm swiveling it so you could lock it in place. Oh actually it locks in place for you at vertical or horizontal so here we go I just tucked it away and then you can pull it out right here and extend it and you just put in your phone so this is me driving with all three mounts I'm using my Ray-Ban stories they are camera glasses um, it's a little bit safer to use because I'm not holding a camera while driving the quality is not that great but hopefully you guys can see how it is in your view when you're driving so the left mount is from Spigen I did a full review on this I like the position on the left it's a little bit hard to charge though because you have to run a wire and plug it in at the bottom. But uh, this position is my favorite position. This middle mount right here is a horizontal mount only. You cannot do portrait mode. I like this because you get to charge your phone because it's a MagSafe charger built in and you could charge it while you're driving, which is great. But there's not that many apps that are horizontal uh, or made in horizontal or landscape view. This is Google Maps right now and they have landscape view but most apps are not like for example i'm trying to load up spotify and everything's sideways and it's hard to read it's hard to see it's hard to choose a song or anything like that so it's really tough so you could use this if you're mainly just using google maps and you're not really changing anything i mean you could change your music on your steering wheel but if you want to choose a different album it's a little bit harder for this right mount it's a little bit harder to put on because i had to grip the top part of my iphone in order to put it on the mount because if I hold it like in the middle of the iPhone and I try to put it on directly, the right side of the screen will block my hand. So it's harder to put on. Well, it's a little bit harder to put on the MagSafe charger. But once you put it on, it's going to stay. All these MagSafe uh, mounts, they're pretty strong hold. Um, I went over bumps and so on and there's nothing wrong uh, with the phone. It doesn't fall off or bounce off or anything like that. The only downside on this particular mount is that it does not have a built-in charger like the middle one. But it's cool, it works. And there are other third party ones out there that attach to your screen exactly like this, but there's a MagSafe charger. The cool thing with this right mount by Test Launch is that you could rotate it. Um, you could rotate it and make it portrait or landscape. So here I am watching Netflix. I'm loading up Netflix while I'm just parked here. And uh, it's cool because you get to watch anything you want, but please be careful if you're gonna watch while you're driving. Um, it does not have a charger, like I mentioned, but it's pretty cool. Um, if you get the middle charger, it's great for watching videos and media consumption because obviously you watch stuff in landscape, right? So you watch your YouTube while charging, which is great. I really like it like this, only for basically only for media consumption or Google Maps. Anything else is going to be really difficult. On this left side, I you could do both immediately. You don't need to rotate anything. This is still my favorite mount. I want to show you guys this right mounted position again because if you are mounted horizontally as you can see here and you want to switch over to vertical mode or portrait mode 
then you have to hit the button in the back and rotate the mount to the left so it's going to be hard to do when you're driving so i don't recommend it when you're driving or you could try to do it when you're in autopilot so you have both hands free but it's just a little more difficult than the left mount so as you can see on me switching back and forth we gotta reach over hit the button and then uh, switch it again so for me this left side is the best side for me i like it because i could switch my music one-handedly and i could switch to portrait or landscape easily with one hand i wish there was a built-in charger but you know it's gonna be hard to charge on the left side because you gotta run a wire which i usually do i just took it out for to make it clean to make it look good for this video thank you guys for watching please subscribe for more videos on finance tech and travel see you guys in the next one peace